Welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome if you're watching on OneSpotMedia.com. A reminder as well that you can download our OneSpot Media app in the Google Play Store or the App Store. That's the number one followed by the word spot and media. In the wake of a bloody two weeks, the government is in the line of fire for what the opposition calls its failure to tame the crime monster. Scores of people have been killed across the country in the past two weeks. And today, the opposition People's National Party put pressure on the government to do something right now. And the PNP made its position known at a press conference at the party's Old Hope Road headquarters in St. Andrew today. TVJ's Jeleen Pearson was there. The opposition quoted a 19% increase in murders when compared to 2016 and a whopping 137 murders last month alone. The opposition says it has tried to reach out to the government to create a national crime eradication plan, but to no avail. What we are seeking is not a conversation between the minister and the opposition spokesman, nor are we seeking a conversation between the PNP and the GLP in this matter. There are other critical stakeholders. For his part, opposition spokesman on national security, Peter Bunting, said he is disappointed that what he called a successful Unite for Change initiative has been, as he claimed, all but abandoned. Additionally, the opposition views as unnecessary the government's recent tabling of a zone of special operation bill that would allow the security forces to tackle problem communities. Even so, Mr. Bunting says the bill has been sent to a Gordon House committee that's yet to meet. Updated um, national security policy, the investment we did in upgrading a lot of the technology of the forensic lab, of the police themselves, the investments in the new protected mobility squadron for the uh, JDF, all of these were con positive contributors. In the meantime, Dr. Peter Phillips insists that the previous PNP government left adequate laws in place that could be used to fight crime. It is not our view that the answer to this crime problem is simply to unleash uh, uh, more draconian measures in communities beyond that which is already provided for. Dr. Phillips believes that the national problem of crime is quickly spiraling. Jamaican people are being killed unnecessarily. They are living in fear in their communities. They need some coherent and comprehensive response that will address that predicament which they are facing, and that is not being provided by the government led by the Prime Minister. Jeline Pearson, TVJ News.